ABC News with Anna Pike. Good afternoon. New South Wales Premier Gladys Berejiklian has shrugged off criticism about her handling of the COVID pandemic, saying she's only focused on what's best for her state. West Australian Premier Mark McGowan has accused New South Wales of being out of step with other states and territories in trying to manage the pandemic, not eliminate the virus by shutting borders. Ms Berejiklian says she's not bothered by interstate critics. I couldn't care less at the end of the day what criticism is levelled at me. What I want to know we're doing is what is in the best interests of the vast majority of our citizens. You're never going to please everybody. But I feel that we need to make sure that we're always making decisions based on what the vast majority of our citizens need us to do. New South Wales recorded five new community cases in the last reporting period. Two were already known, two more were attached to the Northern Beaches cluster and one to the outbreak at Barala in Sydney's west. The ACT government will lift COVID-19 travel restrictions for parts of Sydney along with the New South Wales Central Coast, Wollongong and the Blue Mountains. Currently, non-residents are unable to enter the ACT if they've come from Greater Sydney, Wollongong or the Central Coast. Restrictions will remain in place for people who've been to a 11 local government areas in Sydney. The Victorian government says people granted exemptions to leave hotel quarantine following changes to interstate travel rules are being released as quickly as possible. Victoria's new border permit system means people placed in quarantine hotels after visiting regional New South Wales no longer need to isolate. But some return travellers have complained of delays in being released. Lisa Neville is the minister responsible for hotel quarantine. She says that more than 60 people were allowed to leave last night and a further 80 could be released today if they return a negative test result. As soon as we know that a detention order has been lifted by the Department of Health and Human Services, people are are able to leave. Sometimes we may not let them leave if we're bumping in passengers from international so that there's not a risk to them, but we are trying to get people out as quickly as possible. The Federal Health Minister Greg Hunt is resisting calls to condemn his Liberal colleague Craig Kelly for spreading misleading information online. Mr Kelly has repeatedly shared unofficial medical advice on social media about COVID-19, most recently claiming mandatory mask wearing is tantamount to child abuse and should be a crime. But opposition says it's dangerous misinformation that should be denounced. But Mr Hunt is not criticising his colleague and is instead urging the public to listen to the medical experts. Many people, as I've just said... Uh, will put out differing views. Many of those views have have been shown to be wrong. And I would urge everyone, I would urge everyone uh, to listen carefully to the advice of the Australian medical regulators and Australian government medical advisers. Overseas and two capital police officers have been suspended and as many as 15 others under investigation over their behaviour during the riot at the US Congress last week. There's been scathing criticism of the ease with which supporters of President Donald Trump were able to breach security and enter the Capitol building. Some officers even had photographs taken with them. Democrat Tim Ryan, who's heading the congressional inquiry, says the two officers were suspended for cozying up to the rioters. One was the selfie officer and then Another was an officer who put a MAGA hat on and started directing some people around. I don't know if letting them in, letting them out, exactly what it was. But the interim chief determined that to be qualifying for immediate suspension. Staying over the seas in the search for a passenger plane that crashed in Indonesia with 62 people on board is being hampered by the amount of wreckage and mud on the sea floor. Indonesia correspondent Ann Barker reports. Navy divers are continuing to scour the seabed for the black boxes and human rem- Remains from the Srivijaya Air Boeing 737 that plunged into the Java Sea on Saturday. Search authorities had detected the pings of the voice recorder and flight data recorder, but say silt on the seafloor and the tons of wreckage is hampering efforts to retrieve them. They were planning to send in a high tech underwater vehicle to help in the search. More than 3,000 rescue workers, 74 ships and boats, and 13 helicopters are taking part in the search and retrieval operation. A recall notice has been issued in the ACT in New South Wales for Woolworths coleslaw because of the potential for salmonella contamination. The recall applies to coleslaw with use-by dates of up to and including January 21st in sizes of 110, 250, 400 and 800 grams. People with the suspect product should return them to Woolworths for a full refund. ABC News. 